think it might be time to dust this off. Hi guys, as you may have guessed from today's intro, it's going to be a foiling video today. I've had an idea in my mind for the last six months and I thought that today we'd experiment to see whether or not it's going to work. I usually use this paper here for my badges and mirrors and I've been toying with the idea of making some foiled versions, but as you can see, this is made for inkjets, so I don't actually know if it's going to work in my laser printer, but let's give it a go. I've been working on some new Mother's Day designs and I wanted to make some compact mirrors with the theme of Mama Bear. Um, I've got a few different animals, but I'm starting with this one. I thought it would be quite nice to have the bear foiled like this and then on the other one to have the whole thing foiled with the bear itself completely plain. So the next step is going to be to pop this all into my silhouette software. Because I have no idea whether or not this is actually going to work, I'm going to start off printing in A5 just to save some paper. So I've got my template all set up here and now I'm just going to drag the designs in. I use ping files because it means that the background is transparent so you can fit more on a page. Okay, fingers crossed, let's see whether or not the printer's going to work. Well, we're off to a good start, it's managed to get jammed. This isn't looking good at all. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's struggling to feed it through the rollers because obviously it's quite glossy. So I'm going to try just one more thing and if no joy, well, we'll have to go back to the drawing board. Basically the shiny paper is too glossy to be picked up by the laser printer rollers, but it's okay. I have got a backup plan. I have got some really good premium printer paper that I just usually use um, for my other business, but I am going to have a look and see how well that foils because in the past it is foiled amazingly. So let's have a look. So this is printed out beautifully on the HP Premium paper. I am now going to fire up my foilet machine and give it a good 10 minutes to come up to temperature. I'm going to try testing out my temperatures first of all on the A5 that I originally printed because I know the silhouette is going to struggle to cut it without some serious faffing and I've got my nice A4 ready to go once the temperatures are sorted. We're hovering at around 162 degrees Celsius so let's test it out. moment of truth everything's cooled down now let's see oh wow so that one has turned out great there is one speck there but that should actually be folded round and a teeny tiny bit there as well Let's have a look at these. So the gold one's near perfect. There are a few flecks, but I have just remembered that I didn't do something that I usually do, which is um, to go over everything with a microfiber cloth before I actually foil. So there's a few bits here that haven't turned out quite right. So if you can see the definition here on um, the cute little cub, it's missing here. So I'm not sure if it's too fine and if the design needs to be tweaked, we'll have a look. So looking at this design here, I can see that the definition 
is definitely lost um, so it means that I need to have a play around with my line thickness but I actually quite like this completely foiled effect it just depends on how perfect I can get it so let's now have a go with the A4 one Ordinarily, I like to go over it with a microfiber, clean microfiber cloth, uh, just so that it means that any tiny bits of loose toner um, or dust that might stop the foil from sticking have completely gone. Okay, so let's have a look. Don't be lazy like me and leave these bits uncovered because they will transfer onto your folder and you'll end up with the design stuck on there unless you clean it up with acetone. So I've already figured out that I can't cram quite so many designs on a single sheet if I'm using different colored foil because if you don't really want to be overlapping it because if it creates uneven pressure which could also mean that your design isn't going to foil as well as it could let's have a look how this has turned out okay well as i mentioned i'm not too keen on uh, this kind of image i prefer the reverse one and let's have a look at the copper one of these has turned out beautifully there's maybe one tiny mark down there and that's it and let's see the gold oh wow yeah so as you can see and um, these are near perfect and the design for the bear is really quite clear you can easily read it as well so the next stage is to use my silhouette cameo to cut these out So as I'm just playing, I'm going to use these three beauties here that have turned out pretty perfect to see whether or not the badge and compact mirror maker can handle them. Wish me luck. As I've got two of the gold, I am going to have a go first of all at making a badge just because those blanks are a lot cheaper. So if it gets messes up or doesn't work, then I haven't at least wasted a nice mirror. So just make sure it's all free from dust, pop it in. And then I've got my special mylar that needs to go over the top. I'm making sure I've only got one. Okay. Slightly nervous because these take a lot of pressure normally and the foil is going to make them extra thick. Okay, that went down surprisingly easy. Just line it up. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. And the final press, let's see if it's going to work. Wow. Now that is almost a mirror finish. I think it looks amazing. I'm really impressed with how it's come out. Well, I'm excited to try the mirrors. haven't made mirrors for so long my mind keeps going blank on the process so let's see if I've got this the right way around
final press. Oh, I feel like it's such a workout doing that. Oh, how frustrating. It's not caught just on this edge here. So I don't know if that's me being extra weak, which is a possibility. Although it looks like this ring may have been slightly damaged. So let's just have a go at another one. I'm just gonna check this is all fine. Yep, looks fine. My last one, I really want it to work. So that one goes down pretty easy. Let's just see. Okay, I'm tempted to take this off camera just so I can put a bit of extra weight on it without knocking the camera. Perfect. It's super shiny. It's turned out really well. And it was just me needing to put more pressure on because as you can see now, that is wonderfully foiled and wonderfully sealed. So let me know, what do you think? You've heard me talk time and time again about how I brought the foilet machine back in January 2020. It's now been two years and I have only listed maybe two items to sell with it, which is shocking. So this year I really am going to buckle on getting some of those items listed. And I think what better way to start than with these. I love how they've turned out. They are super shiny. It's going to be very very difficult for me to get a good enough image to put these online so I think I'm definitely going to have to do some videos. The thing about foiling is even if you follow all of your usual steps there are so many times when it doesn't turn out as you expected and wastage for it is pretty high. I have spoken to other people and they've told me that I am perhaps expecting 100% perfection and that's not just how foiling this process however works. So I'm thinking that I just need to ease up a little bit. My customers that have seen the videos that I've done of foiling seem to really love them and the few products that I have sold with it on have gone down an absolute storm. So I just need to focus on that. So did you enjoy this video? I know I get a lot of foiling questions. I hope that this may have answered any that you have. Just for your information, the printer and the foil that I use, I will drop in the link down below and I'll also pop a link to the paper. I wanted to try out the glossy paper. I didn't think it was going to work, but I knew that if I could get it to print on the laser printer, then the adhesion from the foil would be rah. But you know, unless you experiment, then you just don't know. I'm really happy with how these have turned out and a great big thank you for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We are at almost 200 subscribers. I am completely blown away. I have doubled in just a couple of months. I think it might be six weeks or so, which is madness. Um, so a great big thank you if that was you. I will be back next week with another video. Remember, Wednesday is my upload time and I will see you all then. Bye.